know, something else you threw at me recently, um, and I'm kind of let you lead this. It was, uh, I think, Usyk versus Fury. Were they, like, working on, like, finalizing, like, a rematch clause or something in the contract? Well, uh, what was the news with Usyk and Fury? So Usyk and Fury, I think they agreed on fighting. Um, and this is Fury looking past uh, um, Francis. And Gain, as he should. Yeah. Right, as he should, right? So also, I think they... They are looking to implement a rematch clause for the both of them. Mm -hmm. However, I forget what belt it is, what sanctioning body it is. There's a sanctioning body that said whoever the winner of the Tyson Fury versus Usyk, they have to fight a mandatory challenger. It don't matter. And then they can rematch afterwards. Mm -hmm. If no if ands or buts, or they will be stripped. So like that, now there's this whole another dynamic that's involved. Um, and I'm not sure if that's going to be a holdup in the rematch clauses being implemented in the contract, but it seems like they, they've agreed to uh, most of the stipulations of uh, fighting, it sounds like. But it still is not like 100% confirmed at this point in time, but it seems like we're definitely we're definitely uh, moving past the initial conflict that they had before. So some, it looks like this fight is definitely going to happen, though. Okay. okay. Probably so in 2024. I, I heard that um, and I'm, I'm not getting off topic here. I heard Canelo and Charlo did like 500 to 600,000 pay per view buys. I heard like Spence and Crawford did like maybe like 700, 750. And I heard, you know, Ryan and Tank went over a million, right? Yeah. So let's say we get the Fury Usyk with the co main speculated AJ Wilder. Do you <laughs> think that those pay-per-view numbers will beat all the previous pay-per-view numbers I just threw out there to you? I think it's definitely gonna be closer to the Ryan Garcia and uh and Tang Davis. And yeah. I can see it definitely surpassing that, but I think it's gonna be probably around that margin for okay, sure. Because okay. but just just the Anthony Joshua and, and, and Giante Wilder alone, that, that co-main could do nothing. The, co the co-main by itself, because I think that's gonna probably bring up the bulk. Yeah, because you know Anthony Joshua's still like a heavy favor in the UK. Yeah, and then you still got Deontay Wilder. When you're talking about the US, it's like mm -hmm. still like a big name. And mm -hmm. these are the two fighters that we they were supposed to be fighting in their prime before they started kind of losing, right? So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think I think yeah, I think I, I think it should surpass the uh, Javon Tick Davis and Ryan Garcia. Now that I'm thinking about it, or around that um metrics. Yeah, yeah. A AJ does numbers. I think Fury does numbers. Wild Wilder, I think we're going to probably go off of Wilder and Fury, right? But Wilder can do numbers. Not so, Like you said, just the history with Wilder and AJ. I think, uh, throw Usyk in there that he's a good fighter, but I, I think those three, between Fury, Joshua, and Wilder, I think they might drive that one to maybe almost 2 million pay-per-view buys, man. Like, yeah. seriously, I think the, I think that'll do crazy numbers. And then I think once the press conference starts with Fury and Usyk, more people are going to be bought in because I don't think a lot of people, like, know Usyk's character, but he, yeah. he, he's, he's kind of weird in the head, man. And, and Yeah, he is. You're not going to just punk him. Yeah, he's unconventional. Like, he's like, uh, he is a weird little fellow. <laughs> like, oh, <wow. laughs> he definitely <laughs> is. And, and, and he doesn't, and it's funny because he got his own personality in a way. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. It's, you know, it's, funny you call him a, it's funny you call him a weird little fella because he's a heavyweight. But you know what that makes me makes me think? Let's say if, um, Usi goes in there and beat Fury, right? Right. W would you rank him the best cruiserweight turn heavyweight of all time? Or would you maybe second? Um, obviously, in that category, we have Evander Holyfield as well. So, yeah. Um, what, what would you think of him? I'll if probably he, say he's probably the most – he will be the most accomplished for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easily. But like by far. And if you're you're discussing accolades and achievements, you can argue he's gonna be number one because of the people he beat and yeah, like bro, you beat Joshua and then you beat Tyson Fury and you undisputed in two different weight classes. Yeah, bro, yeah, you gotta be number best of all time, bro. Have to be, and yeah. and I think the undisputed thing can be a little tricky, right? Because undisputed. Yes, you collect belts, especially in the four belt era. It is impressive, but I think it depends on who you've beaten, right? Because you could be mm -hmm. in a weight class where you haven't necessarily beat anyone and you collected all the belts, right? Would you be mm -hmm. better than someone that who's not undisputed, who just like for instance, Floyd versus uh Terrence Crawford, right? Terrence Crawford, you know, phenomenal accolades, right? Being a two 
um, undisputed champion of all time. Mm -hmm. And I know we're kind of straying off, but just to kind of put my point, Floyd Mayweather beat the most world champions ever, right? Whereas with Terrence Crawford, he's undisputed in two different weight classes, right? Mm -hmm. But who did Terrence Crawford truly beat, right? I think Errol Spence, for sure. For sure. Right? At 147, you beat Jeff Horn for that belt, but he's not really a, a mm -hmm. notable name, so he doesn't really count. So you became undisputed really off for just one fight. And then um, at 140 pounds, you became undisputed. You beat Gamboa, which was- I th That was 35, though. We, we oh, 35 is Gamboa, which is a great name. For, but at 140, is you didn't really fight. And, um, damn, what's oh, what's the other guy name? That's actually a decent name. Um, slipping my mind right now. Uh, the, uh, I'm dang, forgetting the name right him. now. And I, and I know has, so Drop it in the comments for us. Yeah, drop in the comments. But he probably has one notable name during that tear of achieving undisputed, right? Versus Floyd. Floyd, just because Floyd didn't win undisputed doesn't mean, look at his resume. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I think what Floyd has accomplished in boxing in terms of beating the better fighters, he's beaten the better fighters versus where Terrence Crawford has become undisputed. So I think undisputed is, it, it, yeah, it's an accomplishment, but it doesn't necessarily supersede everything else. You know what I mean? Right, so right, going right. back to Usyk, I think it's more so who he's who he's going to have to beat in order to be the best, you know? Oh, okay, okay. Because like right now, I mean, I'm just thinking of like Evander Holyfield, man, like that, like the real deal, you know what I'm saying? So for he, was a, he was a vicious animal. I ain't going to lie. So, like, so he, he was. Usyk to be ranked above him like you said it has to be who you beat yes the accolades maybe even how you, how you do it you know what i'm saying yeah how yeah. you do it too because then he could i think it's unlikely but let's say he he loses to fury but they grant him the okay the head nod and he gets a robbery right then it's like oh are you really the best of all time right so versus mm -hmm. me going there like and did what terrence crawford did to errol spence and dominated him yeah and it's like oh now you can't really say much you know what i mean mm -hmm. so so yeah okay okay yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that one because i think hands down this has been the best year of boxing i've seen and it looks like the momentum is not stopping it looks like going right into 2024 the same way <laughs> Yeah. The same way, you know what I'm saying? I don't even want to throw out the rumored fights that I've been hearing. I just want to see them confirmed, you know what I'm saying? But, like, yeah. it looks like 140 is about to be on fire, you know what I'm saying? Um, Harris yeah. Bings were at 154, you know what I'm saying? So it just, it's just looking crazy, you know? And hopefully we just get all these fights. Um, but definitely jump in the comments. Tell us who is the best cruiserweight turn heavyweight of all time. I know we really only <clears throat> discussed two names there, but if there's any others that you want to throw out there, please throw it out there. Um, what kind of numbers do you think Usyk, Fury, Joshua Wilder card would do? Um, could it be the all-time all most pay-per-view sold? Could it be a flop? You know, maybe we've waited too long. We don't want the fights anymore. But definitely jump in the comment section, like, comment, subscribe. Two cents short of a dollar, and Mo, take us out if you got anything else. Nah, see you till next time, man. Definitely keep the engagement going, you know, um, and we'll see you until next time. Appreciate All each right. and every one of you. Sounds good. Peace.